Welcome back to the YouTube! <laughs> Whoa! These are the hardest things to learn in order. And starting at number one, the easiest thing to learn is cooking an omelette. Apparently 75% of people can cook an omelette. I can cook an omelette. Can you? Cooking an omelette isn't that hard to do. So whether you can or can't, make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out what the hardest thing to learn is. Number two is a magic trick. 70% of people can do a magic trick. It doesn't have to be a death sword trick. Magic is for everyone. Pick a card, any card. Pick a card, pick a card. Was it the Ace of Hearts? Haha. <laughs> 68% of people can play chess. I can't play chess. I've never actually really played. I would like to learn. There are more possible games of chess than atoms in the observable universe. Really? Jesus Christ. That's pretty in that's pretty intense. 65% of people can story tell. A great story usually progresses towards a central moral or message. I feel like most people can tell a story. I don't think I've met anyone that can't. Some people will just talk and it, I suppose it has no meaning. And you just sort of, you get a bit bored, don't you? 43% <laughs> of people can speak in a second language. This will impress locals when on vacation and means you might make new friends. I can't speak a second language, but I kind of wish I could. I just can't be asked to learn. <laughs> it's not really the point, is it? I feel like it would be really hard. If I could pick any language that I could speak, it would be Chinese. Because I just think that would be so hard to learn. Because it's so different. It sounds so different. It looks so different. You've got like different... Oh, 42% of people can do origami. Origami is the art of paper folding. It's often associated with Japanese culture. Wow. I can't do... I can't do origami either. Beatboxing. <laughs> That's, that's all I got. Time and practice will be sure to make jaws drop at any party. Yeah. Okay. I I haven't learned beatboxing either. Oh, I can do this one. Dicing an onion. 38% of people can dice an onion. You don't have to do it super fast like Gordon Ramsay or you might cut yourself. Nice and slow with your dicing. I bloody love an onion. Oh, great. And we're, yeah, bringing me back down to earth. 35% of people, nice handwriting. I feel like this is just this is just a video taking the piss out of me because I can't do most things on here. I don't have nice handwriting because I'm left-handed. That is my excuse. I'm left-handed. So as I write, I have to go over what I'm writing so it just smudges. I have to have special pens so that it do they don't smudge. Oh, God, that was a real in school. Saving money. Only 30% of Americans have a long-term financial plan to save money. Interesting. Okay, I feel like I can do that. 28% can do this. Cracking an egg with one hand. You might make a mess the first time, but it will surely impress anyone. What's the point of cracking an egg with one hand when you've got two hands? I never really tried. I remember when I used to work as a waiter, the chef, he could hold loads of eggs in one hand and he would just crack them one at a time. So it would be like, he'd have like three or four in his hand and he'd go, and then break one and then and then do the other one. And just break them like that instantly. So cool. Juggling. Pretty easy. Just take some practice and logic. Try to progress to four or five balls. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Let me go higher. Let me go higher. That's a no. Can't do that one. Okay, moving on. Okay, 22% of people can shuffle cards. I can shuffle cards. I just got the simple technique. I can just do this one. It's nice and simple. I can't do like the... What do you do that... I can't do that one. Whistling with your fingers. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Apparently 20% of people can do that. Damn it. Boxing. Ba ba! Ba ba! Well, I used to be a year seven, so I used to be able to box. Ba ba! Mixing cocktails. 18% of people can do this. Well, I can mix cocktails. I'm just not going to guarantee they're going to be very nice. Like anyone can just <laughs> mix random liquids together. English. The English language is renowned for having many strange rules and expectations. And exceptions. Sorry. I can do English. I can. It's quite ironic that I just misread that, isn't it? <laughs> drive a car. I can drive a car. <laughs> Yes, I can drive a car. <laughs> oh, God, I'm clever. Performing a wheelie. I mean, I've never even ridden a bike, like a motorbike, so I'm not going to attempt to perform a wheelie. Spinning a basketball. The world record is 11 minutes, 22 seconds. That is insane. 16%, see, this is it. Look, Mandarin Chinese is the most difficult language in the world for non-natives. What did I say earlier? If I could pick any language to just know, it would be Chinese. But is Chinese harder to learn? than English is to someone who's like maybe Spanish. Make sure you carry on watching guys because these things just keep getting harder and harder to learn. Skiing. The Sami people of Finland have skied for nearly 8,000 years. I went skiing once when I was 14 and I just about learned how to 
stop and steer. But I wouldn't say I can ski. But out there, they just do it like, I think they're PE lessons. Like in France, their PE lessons just involve skiing. That's so cool. 14% of people can do this. Programming code. The most common languages are Python, Java, JavaScript. That's well beyond me. That is, I don't have any interest in learning that at all. <laughs> Changing your car's oil. I can do that. When you master it, it takes less than 30 minutes. It's like 30 minutes. It takes like 30 seconds. Just pour some oil in the engine, right? <laughs> have I been doing it wrong? <laughs> oh, are you talking like changing the oil filters? It depends. I, I think there's different oils. I don't know. Maybe I can't do that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. Bloody video just makes me feel like an idiot. Picking a lock. I can do this because I'm a stalker. If you can pick a lock, you are a stalker. 13% of people are stalkers or a locksmith. Elastico soccer trick. The move was invented by the Japanese Brazilian football player Sergio Ekio. Ekiji Gigo. Okay, no, I can't do that one. I, I'm I'm terrible at football. Chair handstand. Starting with a chair can help beginners perform a handstand unattended. Okay, I'll give it a go. A chair handstand? The chair's just gonna move. It's more of a headstand. That wasn't a handstand, actually. No, I can't do that one. Next one is splits. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not, not in a million years am I going to be able to do the splits. I think it would be really impressive to be able to do the splits though, to be fair. Heel and toe driving technique. Well, I don't do that because I'm not a boy racer. Memorizing the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, A, I don't know. 7% of people can memorize the alphabet backwards. Oh, that is actually impressive. I mean, obviously it just takes time and I've never attempted that in my life. 6% of people can computer hack. These are just getting more and more ridiculous now. The most common hacks are actually just social engineering, basically tricking people. Okay. Riding a motorcycle. 6% of people can ride a motorcycle. It's considered easier to ride a motorbike than a car, but they are more dangerous. Whoa. Krav Maga. Krav Maga is a self-defense and fighting system developed by the Israel Defense Forces. Hiya! Hiya! Don't worry, guys, I've got your back. Nobody's beating me in a fight. Solving a Rubik's Cube. I can actually do this. You ready? There we go. Pretty close, though. <laughs> oh, God. 5.7% of people can speak Arabic. The Arabic language uses different symbols than most other languages. Wow. Piloting a drone. I, c I can't do that, but I've never tried. I've always wanted to try. I want to try that. 5% of people can use Photoshop. You will feel proud and maybe earn some money too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever tried Photoshop, but I should give it a go. Rock climbing. I've done bouldering, but not rock climbing. Make sure you have all the necessary safety equipment before you try. That's pretty cool. Although I don't like heights, so rock climbing is not really working for me. Me and rock climbing, I don't think we're going to be a thing. Video editing, finally. Something I can do. Yes. Yes. Something I can do this late on. Yeah, I edit all my short TikTok videos, all my YouTube shorts, all my Instagram reels. So that's finally something I can do. Oh my God. Backflip. 4% of people can do a backflip. The world record for the most consecutive backflips it's 34 in a row. Wow. I can't do that. Pole dancing. You will need strong back muscles and good technique. I can't say I've ever tried. Um, interesting. <laughs> Guitar. 3% of people. This is a little song for all you JJ Rose out there. Oh, YouTube. YouTube! That's my song called YouTube. It's out on SoundCloud very soon, guys. Make sure you check it out. Tearing a phone book in two. You don't even have to be strong. It's all about the technique. That's impressive because phone books are thick. Thick! Human flagpole. For this, you need to be strong muscles. And... What, so you can just, like, link your feet around a flagpole and you can just be a flag? I need to see this. Oh, okay. Not your feet. Your hands. That is very impressive. I'm not even going to joke. I, I can't do that. Drifting a car. Yep, easy. You have to be really brave to attempt this. 
<laughs> Drifting a car. That just sounds scary. Writing with both hands. I mean, I'm left-handed. You have to train your brain really well or be naturally talented to do this. I'm naturally talented. No. If I wrote with my right hand, it would probably look very similar to my left because my left is terrible. 0.6% of people can speak Latin. Latin, despite being an extinct language, is still used in law and sciences. That's impressive. So you're like, why would you bother learning Latin? 0.6% of the world can speak it. Painting with mouth. I mean, yeah, I can paint with my mouth. You just might not be able to work out what it is I'm painting. <laughs> Some people born with disabilities still find a way to paint. Respect. Oh, okay. Right. Well, now I feel bad. Okay, and the last one is taming a tiger. You'll need to feed it at least 15 pounds of meat a day or it might have you as a meal. Wow, 15 pounds of meat is a lot. That's crazy. I, I would love nothing more than to have a tiger though. I think tigers are sick because they're ginger. They're ginger cats. Okay, guys, we made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys learned a lot. Let me know in the comments, guys, what can you do? Do you have a tiger? Have you tamed a tiger? Let me know. Can you speak Latin? Can you dice an onion? Let me know in the comments. Before we go, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are on the road for 2 million, and we're going to get there. We will get there. Not unless you subscribe. So please subscribe, take it easy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oi! Subscribe! Oh, God, please subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Subscribe!